we deal with is what you are looking for now. You want money, you want prosperity. Hmm? You will be taken out of poverty just because you are playing host. Anywhere the Spirit of God is trapped, the first one, some of the, one of the evidences is that there's prosperity. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Not standeth in the way of sinners, not seated in the seat of the scornful. But whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law that he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water. That bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaves also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. If that scripture means anything, it means that one of the evidences of our alignment is prosperity. So let me tell you our story as RCA. You see this man, Chief Donatus? The men like them don't exist again this time. This time. We were young men. And I was posted into the city where they were and we began a prayer. And we said the reason why we are coming for this prayer is not because we have needs. Yeah, we have needs, but we don't want to pursue our needs. Do you have needs? Oh God. Um, we want to share in alleviating your pain. That was the prayer. We prayed like that with fasting for how many years? He didn't respond. Because it will test you. It will, it, 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 will, it will find out if what you are saying, you are parroting it or you mean it. So one of the ways he proves it is that he allows time to pass. And then the devil will be released to come and whisper to all of you that you are all wasting your life. Not your time, oh, your life. Every other day we were in the place of prayer. That's when before you get discouraged, he will give you a dream and show you a light that is shining on Africa. A light. So you want to invade Africa? We'll begin to pray, Lord, shine the light. And all the scriptures that have to do with light, we'll package it and begin to use it as use it and begin to for 14 years. 14 years. Yes. 14 years. The last person that opened the spiritual atmosphere of my city. Are you still are you still following me? I went, it's late now. I went to his son and asked him, how long did it take? And what was the spiritual exercise that your dad was involved in? He said, okay, he prays like this, prays this time, he does. And it took seven years. Huh. I doubled it. I said, if this is huh. I doubled it. So that was a roadmap. I was expecting that in seven years. But I was wrong. Because God cannot be calculated by a formula. God must be sought out. So if you don't have the heart of pilgrimage to wander into his island until he decides to show up, as desperate as you are for him, you cannot see him, you cannot know him until he's willing to reveal himself. I realized that he, just in case you know him, it's, because, not, it's not because you searched for him. It's because he decided to show up. That was when I saw the kingdom that was regulated by a king. You can pray and cry. Your tears don't move him. In fact, until they dry up, he will not come. He will come when he wants to come. That was when I discovered how to wait upon the Lord. <laughs> Waiting upon the Lord is an act of faith. 
because his government inf influences the timing of his response. His government influences the style of his response. Maybe you are expecting God to show up in a certain way. You are wrong. You don't do that when you are dealing with the king. Oh, he will, he will touch your pride and puncture it like a balloon. Mm. Yes, if you are not willing to, to allow the flesh to wither, to be paralyzed, you will not survive it. He will show up and what he wants to do now will bring shame on all of you. Shame is part of it. He will bring shame on everybody. You know why? He wants to weaken your flesh. If you are still afraid of shame, then you, you don't have depth enough to trap the things that are of him. Lack! You'll be tested with lack. All kinds. Brutal lack. Naked lack. You know that kind of lack that is not covered? He's not wearing clothes. He's naked. Are you there? We went through that. You know, when everybody is discouraged, we don't say it, but so that you'll not be the one to discourage everybody. But that discouragement was in everybody's heart, but we couldn't. We were tested. We were tried. Then, after 14 years, he began to release dimensions. Oh, there are times in our midst when we hold meetings like this, the hand of God will come down. And for three hours, people are prophesying. In fact, we wanted to end the service, so we gathered all the people professor and brought them to my office. I was there for another two hours. He was speaking. He was speaking. And we used to have a scribe those days that used to record. The things that we gathered that those people spoke were impossible. We didn't have the faith to believe it. Meanwhile, we were the ones praying, but there was no faith. When he started speaking, it, Because the city that we are in, in Nigeria, is not a notable city. It's a poor city. So it is difficult for you to see that God could use people from that part of the world to influence his body. Are you there? We saw the impossible. We saw the unthinkable. Then our understanding became enlightened. That that is the prototype of what he wants the entire church on the face of the earth to be. A people that are lost in search of what is on his heart. They operate under his authority. Because the Bible says two or three must be gathered in my name. Under the authority that my name carries. That's how they operate. It's not an agenda that is apart from what I'm doing, but an agenda that is designed to capture and implement what I am doing. Are you here tonight? His glory began to increase. As his glory began to increase, I began to see that he started anointing people in the congregation. You could tell that this one is a prophet. You could tell it. It is real. You could tell that this is an evangelist. People started to become. I feel it. The witches in the place gave, they gave us room. They, say, this, they are mad. They are mad people. Witches were no longer the problem. Because his hand came down. And we have tasted of a measure of his glory. But what we have tasted is, is nothing compared to what he showed me. So we are laboring to climb. I'm looking for that day. Because I've seen in my dreams where we trapped the dimensions of God and it became physical, became visible. 
have seen it. Where you touch the glory of God and people will begin to see gold in their hands. It is a dimension of the eternal realm that is breaking into the natural. Things that cannot be explained. Are you still with me?